our science expo, we made a smart fridge. Some components of the smart fridge can include the weight sensor, which is supposed to detect when your food items are running low, when it's full, or when it's completely empty. For example, if something is to be on this weight sensor, and we run the code on the Raspberry Pi, it takes a minute to get the readings, but eventually it pops up the GUI for the smart fridge. And as you can see, when we go to sensor one, sometimes the GUI is a little bit weird. I'm gonna rerun the code. And as you can see, when we go to sensor one, it shows that it's high, as in it's full. This isn't a very prototype type of phase. But also, we also have the feature of the button. And as you can see, inside, the breadboard turns completely off when the button is off to, uh, to help with calibrating the weight sensor to make it a little bit more accurate. At the state that the project is in right now, Everything works perfectly fine, but the weight sensor is very uncalibrated and isn't working. When we first received the weight sensors, the first weight sensors that we received were not built for the Raspberry Pi. We tried to code around that, but eventually it didn't work. And when we ordered these weight sensors, they were calibrated for about a day or two, and then they went off the calibration. I was able to somewhat calibrate it, to make a prototype version, but it can only tell between two very distinct weights. Some improvements we can make in the future is maybe buying a better weight sensor or making the clothes function a little bit better with maybe a light detector or ultrasonic sensor. And I used the HX711 library to try and hook up the weight sensor, but it wasn't working properly with the sensor and only a few functions started to work with it. So some major improvements we can make is definitely getting a better weight sensor. And um, for our implementation on the project, we created the calendar GUI itself. So I'm gonna show you how the calendar works. Right now, all the days on the calendar are set as buttons. So when you click on the button, it will ask you for expiration date time, you enter it in the military time, and then once you click OK, once you click OK, it'll send a text message to your phone at the time that you set the expiration of the slider for. And since today's Wednesday the tenth, we're gonna click on that. Right now it's seven o'clock. That'd be nineteen in military time. Nineteen. Yeah, nineteen. So type in nineteen. Then once you send OK, it'll send a text message out to the phone with a notification. Did y'all get it? And the notification message can be changed however, like it can be it can be an image, we can change whatever we want it to be to. And you got the notification system for that to work through the phone, through Twilo, right? Yes, we used a Twilo API to get the text messages straight. We had to we have to authorize our own phone numbers to get like a code. Then we put the code into Twilo. Then we get like, then we can start using it. Mm -hmm. So to start the Twilo, we had to use like, they give us like an authorization token and a code for it. Like the authorization token is public, but the code for it is like kind of private. So like if you try to upload it onto like the internet itself, it's gonna be compromised and it tell you that like, hey, this code is like, this code has been compromised, so like they give you like scrap that code and give you a whole new one to work with. Mm -hmm. And Twilo, like we had to use it for a messaging system. It was kind of hard to work with during the beginning, but once we got it straight, it was good. smooth sailing for Yeah. And we did have a couple of problems where like when we needed to like update, like update our code on our GitHub, that we did accidentally post the authorization key. So we probably got it changed about like two, three times. Three times. Around three times. But we finally like got that under control. And then with the calendar itself, like I said, we used Kivi to make the GUI. At first it was in TK Enter, but 
we were told that uh, Kibi would be like a better alternative to TK Enter. So I made it in TK Enter at first, but Udell came and converted it into Kibi. And then that's about it. That should be about it. And we also, we did have the second sensor, but unfortunately. That it, broke the yeah. night before setting up the fridge, so. It did, unfortunately. And one more thing about the calendar, too. One improvement that we could make on it is that we could make it to where not only does it allow you to set reminders for, like, groceries and stuff, but, like, everyday tasks. Like, for instance, you want to go walk your dog or, you know, things of that nature. And then... We got our close button that closes completely out of the GUI. You click on that, and then you the wrong button. There and we go. Close it on the GUI. And that's pretty much it for the project right there.